We all been there. Right? We all have lost a battle and just felt awful afterwards. You know, questioning our motives, questioning if we did the right move at the right time. You know, learn from the experience, experience that in battle again in our head to make sure that it doesn't happen again. We all have been 6 0 at some point, and that is fine. I think it's healthy for the game to get swept. <laughs> I really do. But you know what? Everybody doesn't think like that. And these certain individuals are such a sore losers that when they lose against you, they will make sure that you feel real uncomfortable afterward, really questioning your win, and basically just been trolling you, trying to go away from the fact that they lost against you and that you were the better player. So... To you guys who do just this and have been doing this for the last 8 months while I've been puck tubing, this is for you. So this is my top 5 crybaby arguments in Pokemon. So guys, let's get to it and enjoy. Number 5. Number 5 is the shut up argument or that you're a noob. I can't argue with that. Like, if you lose the game and you're calling me that and I'm a noob, I'm sorry, what? I don't follow. I never follow this. And you know, saying shut ups and trying to, you know, bad mouth me for winning. What's your problem? Like, really? <laughs> this, this is how you like counter me? Like, instead of saying like good game, stuff like you're gonna say I'm a noob because I won. You know what? You're a noob. That's my counter argument for you, douche. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. Never got this player. Uh, it doesn't happen too often, but when it do, it just it's really weird, real uncomfortable, and just just wow. That that is some serious IQ right there. Number four. Number four is going to be one of those arguments that kind of is bothering me because it's so such a weird argument to have, and that is that it's that I forgot my items. Like going into the battle and you're forgetting about putting on items on your, your Pokemon. Uh, you just come up as very unprepared, very unprofessional, and uh, you know, it's not even only that a part of the, uh, an argument, it actually is that you brought the wrong items. Uh, I actually did that myself at one time, bringing a Destiny Knot instead of a Choice Band. You know, if you're arguing that you're bringing the wrong items as your loss, then you know what? You're probably not prepared for a professional game in the first place, so trying to write out your loss as the items that was so deceiving and so decisionated for your battle is just wrong and very, very unprofessional. Stop that right now. Number three. Number three is really one of those tactics that keeps bothering people, but it's such a fundamental tactic and it's such a common tactic that how these people have not been able to solve it is still beyond me. And that is going to be the toxic stall wins. I know that everybody hates it, I know even players that does it hates to do it, but like I said, it's a very very fundamental, it's a good way of um, keeping damage rolling on, the wall breakers and wall pokes, tanky pokes, it's a, like I said, very very fundamental tactics worth using every time, that's why every team has this, every team also is built to have a counter for this, that's going to be heal bell, lumberries, there are ways to work around this, and trying to say that you won because she's toxic stalled? I'm sorry. Was I a bad player for I because I won? No. You're a bad player because you can face the fact that you lost against one of the most basic, simplest tactics in the whole game. And I'm sorry, if you can't deal with toxic stalling, then you're a bad player. It is that simple. You need to have this thing down. You need to have heal bell, you need to, you know, work around it. If you can't do it, then why are we playing? I'm sorry. You can't argue that your loss is based on another's tactics. That means that you're out of options and you're at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's it. Sorry, dude. It's over. Number two. Number two is one of those that I think is actually really, really funny. Because if you have a lot of friends that are still online, you can actually see it is like message going through with those, what is that, 15 signs that you can do on uh, your message board on shoutouts. And that is gonna be that I don't play in Uber tiers, you won because you brought OUs, etc, etc. They have a, pretty much a dialogue there that they either, like a lot of my players here are NU that I'm following and having on my friends list. And when they start an argument with a passerby, 
<laughs> that are lost because they're using OU. Um, first of all, you're going against a passerby. God damn it. How did you think that you're gonna be like, oh, I'm a Smogon player? No! It's a passerby. This happens. When I go on passerby battles, I do this because I do want to face off higher tier. I do that because I want to lose, I want to pressure my team. I don't try to think for a second that I'm gonna win when I see a team full with Deoxys, Lugia, Mewtwo, Y. I'm in a loss. I'm always in a loss. How is this like news? We don't go into this battle thinking that we can win. We don't do that. It is not that simple. You, if you want to ask for a Smogon tier battle, you do that on communities on Smogonet.com. You don't do it as a passerby battle thinking, oh, it just might happen. No. It never happens. And guys, wake up. You're smarter than this. You know this. I know this. Everybody knows this. We know this. You should know this. Right? Right? And the worst part is that this is the same type of players that start bragging when they're defeated uh, an uber team with their NU team and then just flips tables the second they lose against one. What did you expect? You probably lost that one because you went against a good player. You probably won the other one because that player sucked. It must be. It's Ubers. Damn it. <laughs> it's beyond me. <laughs> but anyway, this is actually not as bad as the number one is. I think you all know which is number one. That is obviously hacks. I can't tell you guys how much I heard about I lost because of hacks, I lost because of crit, because of skull burn, because I got paralyzed, fully paralyzed. You know, this these things aren't new, like, they have been a part of the game since Gen 1, we know they're a part of the game, there are chance hits, and are rudimental for the game, and like I said, we all know about this, like, this is, this is nothing new, and if you, your team can take a paralyzation, or can take a crit at some point, or a skull burn, then that pretty much means that you're a bad player, it doesn't mean that the other one has a unfair advantage over you oh no it's a part of the game deal with it don't whine like a little crybabe about it it's annoying and you just don't get it if you do like that like i'm not gonna go, go like verlistify did and say minimize is a part of the game oh no i'm i'm all for evasion clause for the right reasons but trying to justify your loss with hacks is just it just means that you suck! <laughs> I'm sorry, it is that simple. You can't deal with it, then it's your problem! It's not my problem that I won because I critted you in the last second, no! It's your freaking problem and you gotta find a better way to deal with it than trying to wave it away like, oh, I probably would've won if that didn't happen. Fuck you! Serious. I hate that. Oh, you're safe for this part too. Well, I guess this is the part where I say thank you for watching. You know, it's very, very surreal doing a rant video like this because I basically become a whiner whining on the whiners. So, really weird position, but I did enjoy it. It was a really fun experience to do something like this. And I'll actually try to do this one more time. Uh, if you guys did get some enjoyment out of it, make sure to do that by leaving likes and comments so I know that you guys did like this. I, I can actually think of doing something like this again. And also, what if you guys have like crybaby arguments that you know you've gone up against? Make sure to say it. I mean, I probably can find a good one, good chunks of down below here. And also, I want to thank you all the whiners and crybabies who has been sort supporting me for eight months. Thank you for all the weird comments. I hope I get many more. <laughs> and that, guys, thank you as always for watching, and have a nice day. All right, bye.